Hi all and welcome back. So in today's tutorial we will be looking on one more pain point okay which a lot of developers are facing nowadays okay. So have you also faced the same okay that you are working on some script rest APIs or you are working on some inbound APIs okay and you want to see uh, what all is happening as a part of that API call right okay you want to see the logs but you are unable to track those out okay. I think it happened with most of the developers work who started working on the integrations okay and this is quite a big pain point for anyone okay and I can understand because I'm working I'm also working on a couple of integration inbound integration so how to do that so for example let's take an example let's take a scripted rest API inbound scripted rest API uh, let's try to find some API okay scripted rest API in scripted rest api let's see if we can find some api okay let's go for change management api because we are aware about this model and let's take some, some simple api okay for example let's take the get api which is get which is taking sys id and it will i think give the record okay so let's we need it perfect so we will need a change request sysid so i will just copy one sysid okay and now if i go to the rest api explorer right and if i want to see ki when i call this api what exactly is happening right what are the headers what are who is calling that api and all that information right so how can i get that information so let's try without doing anything okay so what other users are doing and what a lot of developers are doing okay so what they are doing they are simply inserting the sysid the send as soon as they send they get a response okay 200 400 500 anything they can be okay and we got some information over here if you want to pass the code to service now scripting curl python so you can give it to the third party users right who can who are calling this eps this code snippet just an additional information now the first thing to find any kind of logs is like we go to logs right and let's see if we can find anything in logs so we go to system logs all okay and here if we see created by just now this is this let's see if I can find something which suits my need in API 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 okay. there's no information for API and this is what a lot of users a lot of not users a lot of developers are facing so how to get rid of this okay so if we go to docs it's docs dot service now dot com okay this is kind of bible for all the questions okay which we are having so what exactly we want okay what exactly we are searching right now let's search that particular entity only over there and let's see what service now gives as a result if it's loads okay so yeah we will load and we want rest api what debug let's try it out rest api debug and let's see so we got okay we want with respect to quebec okay and what we want rest api trigger t -t 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 flow start t -t 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 Rest API. Let's see the first one only. So if you go over here and wait for it, it's loading. My internet is slow as always, and we didn't get any information over here. Perfect. Okay. So let's search again. Rest. If the rest scripted rest API debug we touch it out. We should get something.
Glide debug. I spelled it wrong. Debug rest queries. Okay, this is something interesting. So why I was showing ki um so that if you also want to find something out, right? Ki you now how exactly the code how how exactly you find something on the talks. So that's the reason. So what it tells. That there is a debug rest query. Okay, you can find debug rest queries by reviewing the debug log. When this is this particular property is true, all the rest processing log in the session debug log. In the session debug log. Okay, perfect. So what we have to do? We have to go for this particular property and enable it out. So let's go. So it will be sys underscore properties. This dot list. We'll go here, and we will find we want this particular cry property. And see, we don't. We are unable to find this property. Is it a scam with us? No. So if that particular property is not present, that means it's by default false. Okay, and we can create a property. Just for the just a tip for the developer. Okay, as you can see, this breadcrumb is already set right. Client rest debug. So you can use this breadcrumb to create a new record. So what you have to do, if you create, click on new, so all the breadcrumb values, all the filter values will get auto set on your form, the one which you can see over here. Okay, and I will give the description. I want want to debug my PIs. Okay, it's a string value. Okay, and we will give it a value as true because we want to enable it out. Perfect. Now let's try to find the other thing, which is a session log. So let's see if there is something called session log. session session debug logs this was the one right if we go in this login session debug log perfect so let's enable this debug log and it will pop up this kind of screen up pop up screen will appear like we have a script debugger screen this is the rest api debugger screen and it will take its own time to load I don't know whether my internet is slow. So it's now perfect. Now this is a screen, and hopefully when we now trigger the API, it we we should able we to see some of the video. So let's see. We'll again go back to our REST API explorer. Okay, we have all that bit set, and now if I do set, we got 200. Okay, if I go here, lot of information. So we got this API, we got REST API processor. The method is get. This is the URI for this. This is the host from where header. Header. We got header. A lot of bunch of headers. We got. I don't know what it is. It's cookie. Okay, cookie context. We got. We got request headers. Custom class. A lot of information. In simple word, we can say a lot of information. So, this is was a tip tutorial which I have created. Okay, yeah, uh, you can from here you can clear the logs. You can download the logs also if you want. Okay, like the log file got created. You can have a settings also. So, what kind of log you want to see? You want to see. So, by default, it will be log uh, enabled. Okay, in the similar way, we can have multiple logs, right? So. If you open this file, you will get all the context of the log, the entire context for that particular session. Okay, so this was just a tip tutorial. Okay, hope you'll find it helpful. Please like, follow, subscribe. Okay, for more such tricks and tips videos. Okay, until then, stay safe, stay happy, and have a nice day. Thank you.